this is Craig Batchelor with the PPI Group, and today we're going to be looking at modifying the centrifugal pump that ships with an AutoCAD Plant 3D. You can see we're in Plant 3D. I have created a new project, and then in my Plant 3D drawings, I've created a new drawing called Equipment. We're in the default workspace. On the Home tab under Equipment, I can select Create, and on the left side there's a little pull down where we can go locate the pump and then the centrifugal pump. There are several dimensional modifications we can make in this box. I'm going to change an SO value here. This is from my ground to center of suction nozzle. I could also set a tag in here too, so I'm just going to Quickly set a tag on here by selecting number next available and hit assign. On my properties tab, I've got information on my suction and discharge nozzles. Suction by default is a 6 inch 300 pound and discharge is a 4 inch 300 pound. I can add additional information here, but what I cannot do is add an additional nozzle to this pump. When I select create, I can pick a geographic location and rotation. And then we're ready to modify some other things on this pump. If I select the pump, there are two pencil nozzles to edit. On the change type tab of the first nozzle here, I can set the size, units, or pressure class for this particular nozzle. In the change locations, I can set a height from center of suction to, to, to center of discharge, and I can also set an offset. This is where I can do a positive or negative to, in a sense, create a eccentric discharge nozzle. I'll type a value in here, and we'll see that that nozzle comes off to the side as an offset discharge. Next, I can select this modified part, and I can save selected equipment as a template. In my Project Equipment Templates folder, I can give this file a new name, and I can select Save. The next step is to locate and insert the template file by going back to Template, Create, and in the lower left there's a Templates button, and it's, this is where my templates will reside that have been created. If I select Create and place this in the drawing, we'll see that all of the changes, the modifications being made, have been held true in the template. This is Craig Bachelor with the PPI Group, and thanks for watching.